my name's Marcus Chown and I'm the author of Solar System for iPad, which is essentially an interactive book. You can navigate it in many different ways. Uh, the most fun way is from the main screen, which is pretty much like a chocolate box full of planets and moons and asteroids. So let's go, for instance, to Mars. So I just click on the image of Mars, and what comes up is a short introduction about Mars, plus a three-dimensional image of Mars. And we can zoom in and out on this image, and we can spin it, and we can tumble it north to south. And we can also click through stories about Mars. What I really like is this story here, which has next to it a 3D animation of you actually flying down this canyon on Mars. This is tremendous canyon. Uh, it's so big that individual tributaries are bigger than the Grand Canyon. It's been compiled, this simulation, from data gathered by satellites in orbit. Another thing we can do with this book is we can look at uh, uh, galleries of images. Each of the objects has a gallery of, of images. So if I click on the gallery here for Mars, I see all these absolutely gorgeous images. I mean, the colours and the textures are absolutely fantastic. These are all images which have been taken by orbiting spacecraft. So if I click on one of these, it's a crater which has got snow in the bottom of it. And if I move between these images, there's, there are sand dunes on Mars, which are the most fantastic colours. They're blue and pink, and they are, they are gorgeous. But I can say that because a vast team of people was involved in the creation of this uh, book, not just me. So I'm not just patting myself on the back. I love this particular image here, which is, I mean, it just looks like a tattoo on somebody's skin. Uh, it looks like the girl with the dragon tattoo. And to find out what it is, you just click on the image and up comes a caption. And this caption says that, in fact, the lines of the tattoo are, in fact, the trails left by dust devils which are moving across the surface of Mars. So let's get back now to the main Mars page. There is another way of navigating between the uh, objects in this book. And at the bottom of the screen is a tiny rocket slider, which you can slide between objects. So I'm just going to slide this from Mars all the way up to Jupiter. So now we've brought up the home page for Jupiter. And once again, you can step through stories about Jupiter. This is fantastic because this is actually uh, an animation showing the, the motion of Jupiter's atmosphere, and in particular, the great red spot. And the great red spot, I mean, incredibly, is this hurricane, which is about three times the size of the Earth, which has been raging non-stop for hundreds of years. And it's not just planets like Jupiter that we've got in this interactive book. We've got moons as well. For instance, I can navigate this uh, tiny rocket to Io, which is Jupiter's pizza moon. I mean, it looks like a pizza. Uh, we've got an animation here which actually shows somebody squeezing a squash ball. And when you squeeze a squash ball, it gets hot. And this explains why Io, not the Sun, is the hottest body in the solar system. So it generates more heat per unit volume than the Sun. And instead of someone's hand squeezing it, it's actually Jupiter's gravity that squeezes it. And from Io, we can actually go to the orrery. Now that's actually uh, an animation of the planets moving in the solar system. And we can see Io orbiting Jupiter, along with many other moons. And we can, we can zoom in on that, see the moons bigger, and we can change the orientation. And there's a slider along the bottom of the screen, and we can actually slow down the motion of the moons orbiting Jupiter, or speed them up as well and I can zoom out and see the rest of the solar system. And I'm going to jump now back to the very centre of the solar system. And really, I've come to the end of this uh, tour. And I hope you agree that Solar System for iPad truly is something new under the sun. <laughs>